Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Anywhere Fitness with April. We are outdoors today. So I hope you enjoy the scenery. We're gonna be working with combinations today. So we're gonna be taking exercises and combining them together to give us just an extra boost of intensity. I hope that you enjoy um, a lot of these strengthening exercises and I'm gonna get you started right here. We're gonna take our legs nice and wide. I'm gonna drop those hips and then come down and up. So we're gonna get that power coming through that full body here, using those legs, staying upright, using that core, using those arms, generating some intensity and warmth. Now hold it out and pulse. Drop those hips. All right, we're gonna be working for a minute at a time today, and then moving on to that next exercise. I think we're gonna have a good time together. And we're gonna drop those hips. I'm gonna take the hand to the inside of that leg. So it can be the inside of the knee. If you can drop lower, the inside of the calf. Or possibly if you can drop lower, take it in right to that ankle. Give me eight more. Four, three, take the hand to the thighs, drop the hips and raise. Yeah, tighten up those glutes. Now hold it up, wide knees here. Pull, pull. Now bring it narrow, opposite elbow, pulls in. I have a heavy set of weight and I have a mat. So if you feel that you need a lighter set of weight just to be safe and you feel better with that, you can do that as well. Give me four, three, two, march it here. Great job. All right. Now, we're gonna take those upper bodies and be challenged here along with that core. So we're gonna start out in a mountain climber, but our combination move is going to be a plank jack. So you're gonna drop in, take those hands down onto that mat, take those legs back. You wanna flatten out right here. We're gonna do one pull. One jack, here we go. We've got it started. Keep your chest pushing through the arm. Keep those shoulders stacked right over wrists. Good, got that one pull and that jack. Trying to stay nice and flat. Don't be afraid to stretch. Get right back in if you need to. Think of those belly buttons pulling in. You've passed your halfway mark. Woo! Yes. Getting it done. Already. Feeling this first exercise combination. Five seconds. Walker, jump in and roll it up right here. Roll those shoulders. All right. Your next move is going to be a half a burpee. When you jump back, you're going to do a push up, come into that half a burpee. So, what our half burpee is, is our hips are going to stay down. Hands up, hands down, jump back, push up, jump in, hands come back up. Are you ready? Here we go, drop. Jump back, push up. Jump in, stay low. Back, push up. In, trying to elevate that chest as you come up. Woo! Strong combination here. Straight legs. You can always put those knees down as you jump back. Right here to do that push up. Find your options. You're past your halfway mark. Lots of body weight challenged here. Woo. You got time for one more. Jump in and roll it up right here. Shake it out. All right. 
go. Your next one is gonna be upright. You're gonna stay low. We're gonna fill the squat. Position. So you're gonna hinge those hips and be right in that hinge position. All right. Now you're gonna step out to a squat. You're gonna step back to a lunge. But we've stayed in that hinge position. Here we go, lunge and squat. Lunge and squat and lunge and squat. Send it back. Staying low. Come on. Working through that leg. As you lunge, as you squat, you feel that pressure. Build and build. Abs in. Chest up. Heel down. Woo. Come on. You're with me. We get to go right to the other leg. Coming up in 10 seconds. Woo! All right. Now we're gonna squat it. Here we go. Squat. And lunge. You're not transferring the weight out. Make sure when you step out, you shift straight back. Woo! How low can you stay? Come on, challenge yourself in that lower range. You have no weight, so focus on range as your variable. Halfway. Breath out. In, out. Yeah. Come on. Less than 15 seconds. Send it back. Last one. And in and march it out. Now get water whenever you need it. Shake it out right here. All right, your next move is in plie. We're gonna be low in plie. So the combination is gonna be two squat pulses, hold, two windmills, Back up to two squat pulses. All right, so you warmed up with this at the beginning. Here we go. One, two, hold. Windmill, up, low. Windmill, up, two pulses. Shift forward, drop down. Try to get those ankles. Opposite arm, high. Woo! Toes are turned out. Feel the tension, because we're not elevating back up. Yes, inner quads are working hard. Got those obliques challenged here at the windmills. 15 seconds. Gonna be picking up one heavy next. Last one, two down. And come up, march it in. Wow. All right, so you're gonna pick up one heavy. All right, so the combination is we're gonna squat and paddle like this. Then you're gonna lunge and paddle. So it's going to be two of each. I'm always going to start the lunge with the right leg. Here we go. Squat two, paddle. Lunge right. Oh. Here we go. Squat. Sorry. I'm going to lunge left. Paddle in squat. Paddle in lunge. In squat. Sit back. Sit back. Take it down. Keep that right leg in. Yeah. Squat. 
Pow. Paddle. In lunge there. In squat here. Yeah. Getting that core involved. Squat. You have 15 seconds left. Oh, I did it again, sorry. What? Paying attention here. There it is. And drop that weight. Grab water. We're gonna be piking next. The combination move is gonna be a kick under the body. Now that is an option. So we're gonna come down, find that positioning. Shoulders right over wrists, feet hip distance. All right, we're gonna pike. When we come down, we're gonna send one leg under. Up and under, here we go. Try to get your body flat before that leg comes under. You can always just let that knee bend and get that rotation of that hip right there. So feel either position. Right. Leg or knee under. Up, down, under. Be very precise. So close. Last one. Other side. And bend those knees. Walk it in here. Slowly roll it up. Roll those shoulders back. All right, you're going to grab both of your heavies here. So what we're going to combine is a squat in a travel form, followed by an upright row. Ready? Squat to the left. Upright row. You're going to do four. Two. Now take it back. One. Two. Three. Four, feel that extra core. Those shoulders, those backs. Bring it back. And send it back. Staying strong. And right. Woo! That's it. Eliminate that bright rope, you fatigue. We should have time for one more there and back. Yeah. Bring four back. Three, two, and hold it here. Shake it out. Oh. All right. Now your next combination it's gonna be a bicep curl and an outer glute lift. All right, so we're gonna go left arm to rack position. Right palm out. Here we go, bicep, outer glute. Woo! Single arm challenge, single leg challenge. Check that right leg. Make sure it's bent. Yeah. Send that ankle out and away on that left side. Keep that elbow right under your shoulders. You're past halfway. Don't you love that? Stay connected with that movement. 15 seconds. Woo. Oh, a little windy out here. Last one. Now, exchange. Ready? Palm up. Lift. Lower. 
door. That right arm is up, palm is turned in. Now you got that right leg. Send it out. You got it. Check your left knee. Keep it soft. Right, your left toes are pointed forward. Woo! Look at you go, right? Challenge it up. Ah, working those legs, core, arms. 15 seconds. That's it, keep your chest up. Two more, one more. And let's drop those weights and get some water. Your next move is gonna need some balance work. So if you feel wobbly at first, just stick with it. We're gonna be going into a single leg deadlift with a rear lift. And you're gonna go down into a lunge and step back in. Let me show you what it looks like. So we're gonna grab both our heavies. Chest tall, you're gonna hinge. You're gonna take that right leg back. You're gonna come up, step back into lunge, come up. You're gonna get that deadlift. Remember, we're gonna extend that leg back and lunge. Are we ready? Five seconds, four, three, all right, rear lift with our deadlift. Back to lunge, step in, rear lift. Lunge. Got that wind right now. I hope it's not too loud for you. All right, send it back. Nice and long, lengthen that spine. As you drop forward, keep the weights by the thighs. And back to lunge. So full focus on those glutes and hamstrings of that supporting side. Send it up and back and down. We got time for one more. Send it back to lunge. Come up, march it out. Yeah. All right. So, I might have had a wobble in there. Maybe you did too. We just try our best. Weights in front, other legs. Send it back and to lunge. Same aspects of length in that torso as last time. Nice long leg behind you. We're trying to do our best. Remember, nothing is perfect, but we try to do what we can to achieve the best that we can. Less than 15 seconds. Woo! You did it. Drop those weights. Fill those glutes, get some water. We're gonna come down to the mat. work some triceps down here on the mat. So we're going to do a tricep push-up. They can be done on your knees or on your toes. Then we're going to come up. If you happen to be on your knees, you're going to come up. We're going to do a lateral tap. So you're going to lower down to that push-up. Knees down, come up. Tap, tap, lower. Lift. Lower, lift, tap. You want more challenge? Don't put those knees down. Definitely feel a lot more challenge. Listen to your body. As you go down, I want you to stay nice 
and flat. And then we're going to go full arm circle. So lateral lunge, full arm circle. Step out, up. Remember, you can do this unweighted as well or with a lighter weight. Toes are forward. Step long. Shift those hips back. shoulders, those obliques, those inner thighs, all those outer glutes, 15 seconds. Oh, last one. Well done. Now, you step out to the left. Take the weight into your left hand. You're gonna take that left leg back. Arm's gonna go long. And we're gonna row. Here we go. Up, up. We're gonna focus on speed. Push down with that front foot. How you doing? Sitting that weight back toward those hips. Not up by the chest. Send it back. Big pulse. Come on. You got this. 20 seconds. Slow down if you need to. Stay still. Try not to move the torso. Right here. 10 seconds. Woo! Last one. And come tall. Face forward. All right. Now we have that other lunge. So we have that right leg. We're going to step it out. Arms will come down. Three, two, toes forward. Full circle. Woo! Other side, here we go. You can do this. Sit back. As those arms are coming down, sit back, get that low. Feel that intensity. Just build and build on each one. Keep your concentration. Low. High. And hold it here. Take that weight into that right hand. Here we go. Remember our speed. Control, power, abs in, rib cage, lengthen, chest out. Check your upper back. Make sure it's not rounded. Tailbone's exposed. 
Do you hear the wind? Do you feel the wind? Past your halfway mark. Woo! We're gonna be heading back down to that mat in less than 10. You got this. And done. Come on up. Grab some water. All right. So we're going to come down. We're going to do four mountain climbers. Then you're going to drop and do a Superman. Going to come back up. Mountain climbers. So it's going to be just similar to what we did before with those tricep push-ups. All right. So you can feel those hands right under the shoulders. Take those legs back. All right. Four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Drop down. Superman. You can use your knees. One, two, three, four. Or you can come up without those knees. One, two, three. Drop slowly. Superman. Woo. No escaping intensity here. Tight 
mean? You're doing great. Feel those abs pulling in so strong right here. Stronger, stronger. Good time, one more. That hold, and then lift. And stop right here, shake out. Now our next move is gonna combine a hip bridge with an extension overhead. So we're gonna do bridge extension. What you're gonna do is open your legs, toes turned out to the corners of the mat. Take your left arm back. Fingers are gonna point behind you. Left, your <clears throat> elbow is gonna be right in the center. You're gonna lift your hips up. Extend that arm and come down. Here we go. Up and over, back to center. You want your arm to arc over and end about at your temple. Squeeze your glutes. Try not to shift the hips here, just the shoulder. So feel both your heels stay on the ground. 30 second mark. Don't you feel it? Strong work through those obliques. Feel that shoulder behind you. Yeah. 20 seconds. Come on. Push up. Ready. Drive those hips up. Not stopping now. No, you're not. No, you're not. Last one. And come down and shake it out. Whew. Get you to the other side. All right, so you know how it's going to feel. Turn those toes out. Hand back, fingers back. Elbow in. Let's even it out. Drive those hips up. Doesn't that feel good? Get that exhale. Come on. That arm that's supporting you is slightly bent. Get that exhale out. Come on. You're doing it. Almost there. You are working your way through. Remember, you can come down, shake out, do what you need to do, get right back in. You'll feel refreshed. You'll be able to manage. You have 10 seconds left. Last one. And drop. Oh my goodness. Well done. Grab both your heavies. You're going to be on your backs. You're going to do a little more triceps. So we'll be on our backs. Legs at tabletop. Arms up. Right above those shoulders. You're going to bend those arms and lengthen. We're going to extend those legs out. Ready? Here we go. Down, up. Try not to move that upper arm. You can go slower if you need to. You can switch out to a lighter weight. Slow down. Or switch to just one. One heavy. Now as your leg is going out, Think how long it can get. Concentrate on those belly buttons. Really in. In.
You're gonna drop one leg down and those elbows down toward that mat in tricep press. Bring both back up. Are you ready? Lower that leg, lower those arms, bring it back up. Down, up, down, up. Remember the amount you lower that leg is up to your strength level. So you don't have to lower it completely. Feel that core strength right here. Triceps. Nice combination work here. Yeah. 15 seconds, go. yourselves up. Well done. Drop those weights. Grab some water. Oh, that was awesome. All right, shake out those arms. I'm going to have you come over. I'm going to have you do a push up and then you're going to come up. You're going to tap your shoulders and then you're going to go back to bear plank. So it's a combination of three little moves. All right. So it goes like this. Push up, tap, and then up. Bear plank. Push up, tap, and then that bear plank. So remember those push-ups can be on those knees if you need it. All right, your last and final move. Are you ready? Let's challenge it. Let's do it. Push up. was super effective today all those combinations and lift it up let that chin fall engage those glutes and release roll the shoulders now take left arm circle then right then left I want you to reverse it, bend the arm, open that back. One more. All right, now you're gonna come onto your glutes. We're gonna go into straddle. Take both legs wide. Both arms forward, drop the chins. I always feel a nice release in my lower back as I round my back. Tops of the head down. Have your left ankle, reach that right arm out. Back 
back to center. Grab right, reach left. Pulling a little bit on that ankle as you reach. Coming up, bring those legs together. Now you're gonna bend both legs. Take your hands behind you, fingertips back. Get across your left leg over the right. And then you're gonna lift up through the chest and open that knee to that left side. Bend your arms, relax, and release. Cross that right over and lift. For the stretch through those outer glutes. Lift that chest up. Release. Lengthen that left leg, your right leg. Take your left leg right on the inside and reach out right here. Relax those shoulders. You did so good today. I hope you were just positive all the way through that you rested when you needed to. It's okay to pause me sometimes. <laughs> it's okay to, you know, talk to me and say, what are you doing to me? Or you can say, yay, thank you for challenging me. <laughs> Bring both knees in. Tuck those hips under here. Round those backs. Release, lengthen, let that chin come out. Tuck under again. And release. Now you're going to take your left arm under, palm up. Let that elbow drop. Let that shoulder drop. Let ear fall. And coming up, let's take it to the other side. Slide that right under, palm up. Coming up, you're gonna come up to those toes. Roll up slow. Roll those shoulders. Take the hands behind the hips, open the chest, drop your shoulders down. And we're gonna lift your foot up behind you. you give me a quad stretch. Look at that balance. Thigh in, knee right under the hip. Standing leg relaxed. Take that left arm up. And release. Other leg. This will do it for you. That balance. That arm up. Engage. Lengthen. Relax that stretch. And I appreciate you working out with me. Anywhere Fitness with April. That was a lot of fun. I hope it wasn't too windy for you. <laughs> um, give me a like, give me a share, comment below. I appreciate you working out with me and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll see you again real soon.